Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we've got Battle Axe on Raisin and we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm pretty sure I'm solo in this one. So that's definitely a thing. Um, and sorry for only having one video today. Uh, didn't have anything come out that was YouTube worthy. I had a few good games tonight but just nothing YouTube worthy in my eyes. So uh sometimes that's just the way it goes you know what i mean but either way we're in the death star aka battle axe and we're on raisin we get a spawn in the north and see what we can get ourselves into now you know from this spawn in a heavy tank destroyer i like to go to the castle um, from this side of the castle you can get up in there and use a lot of cover while the enemy is trying to come into the castle and it just makes sense to uh, stop them from getting in there if you can stay covered in the castle and shoot at people who are uncovered, it makes sense to uh, make that a thing. So that's what we're going to do. So what do you guys think so far? It's been a pretty good uh, few days of uh, posting, right? Like Saturday, we had a pretty epic game with a new tank that came out of nowhere. Uh, Monday, we had two amazing videos. The third one was a repost. I tried to put it in the title. Apparently, some people didn't see that. I apologize. Um, all it was was uh, Wargaming was going to use it, and they realized that I said a certain thing too many times uh, for their liking. wasn't anything real bad. Uh, I didn't even realize I was saying it. It's just what we call it when you circle a tank. That's all I'm going to go with. Uh, so we'll, from now on, we'll try to call it the circle of death um, <laughs> because apparently it's not very uh, user or friendly, whatever you want to call it, family friendly. So uh, that's that's on me. I apologize, but that's why I re-uploaded it. I went ahead and muted those uh, two parts. It was literally twice I said it in the video, so I muted those two parts, and that's the only thing that changed. So uh, for those of you who thought that I uploaded uh, another video, I apologize. I really do. I didn't mean, I wasn't trying to snooker anybody into anything, but uh, Wargaming wanted a clean copy that they could uh, post to their page and stuff without having to worry about Xbox coming down on them or anything like that. So, uh, it makes sense. But either way, we're almost in position. And, oh my, we're going to have some good shots here. I can feel it. So, right off the bat, T-10's just begging for it. Now, initially in the Battle Axe, I like to, oh, got him. 1747 that was a paddling now that being said i got paddled in my own right you know i got hit by the t10 first and then hit by the uh, e4 but i'm i don't know I, I got paddled pretty good myself but i got him for 1700 so that's a pretty good start and now we're just kind of putting our feelers out trying to figure out which way we want to do this um now, Battle Axe obviously is... Oh, hello. What are you doing? That was an auto-lock. I probably should have, uh, you know... Probably should have aimed the shot and put it in on him. Now, we've got a 4502B coming in here. I do manage to bounce by pulling forward in a side-scraping position. Now, this guy is about to have a, a bad day. 99... <laughs> 1,571 damage, that was a paddling. Anytime you're broadside on in front of a Death Star for too long, you're gonna get paddled. It's just a matter of time. The only reason he didn't get paddled sooner was I wasn't loaded. <laughs> if you stay broadside on in front of Battle Axe, it's not gonna end well for you. <laughs> if you give me enough time to actually aim my shot, it's not gonna end well for you. But as you can see, We've, we've kind of got ourselves low health early on in the match. It's not a preferable situation, but look at this. Come on in, 103. Come back out. All right. All right, about this time, I decide I ain't about to stick my nose back up. I don't have the health. Let's just go ahead and try to swing around the outside. Of course, the moment I do this, everybody else is like, well, I'm going to stay up there if, if the uh, Death Star is trying to leave and Artie's trying to destroy me. 
apparently the Arties don't like what I'm doing to their team. So they're all about that. Hey, we gotta get this guy off the board. And is somebody gonna fumble and let me paddle a third time? Come on. Oh, that's a friendly. And come on, T10. Oh, let's just take it. 7.30, we track him. He's gonna die. Might as well just get it. Uh, there it is. Somebody got him, finally. Or no, he's still alive. Why ain't he dead yet? No, the T10 died. Good lord. Alright, right we've got four hits. Now, if you notice, the left side's a little thin. And you see I'm dodging artillery rounds. Um, you know, you get those little twitches on your back of your neck, right? You just, you're driving along and all of a sudden you realize there's three arties against you and you were just spotted. Probably a good idea to change course. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. Screw the whole sitting still thing. Alright. And, okay, he's not worth it. All right, M43. We didn't penetrate their armor. Excuse me? Um, I just bounced a hash round off the side of an M43. How? How is that a thing? Ever? Like, I'm dumbfounded. I, I really am dumbfounded. You got me. Wargaming, you finally found the one thing that has almost left me speechless. Oh, hello, T-62A. Just sit still. You're looking pretty. Shout out! Pow! <laughs> 1,678 damage. That was our third paddling of the game. Now, we only end up with one kill, but five hits, three paddlings. That's going to be a good day. 6,400 damage, 490 blocked, one kill, high caliber, top of the leaderboard. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.